what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another adventure with the Bearded Bobber. Now I'm bearded. She, he's not the bobber. Now, I say that in this video because if you guys remember, I did a video comparing the Scout Bobber and the Chief Bobber. And I did that from my own personal experience and it wasn't really what like what's better. Because I can't tell you what's better. It comes down to so many things. Now, long distance riding, the chief is going to be better. For like speed and RPMs, the scout's better. And everybody's like, oh, let's go to some other motor. Well, it is not that. Okay, there is replacement for displacement. All right. I don't know if you guys have seen. <laughs> these motors when they rev out the scouts oh my god man same reason the FTR is the fastest one in the lineup all right it does not have a 116 or some crazy motor but that bike is dialed in and hauls ass okay that's just the way the name of the game there's no like um, you're going to fit with this bike and uh, it's the better bike no matter what um, <laughs> that's not how this works, man. Like, if you're small, the Scout's gonna be perfect for you for everything. Like, you travel on it. Like, it depends on how it sits for you. This bike sits better for me for traveling. I can already tell that. And I mean, I've ridden a few of these, and I've put a few hundred miles on them. The way they're set up they sit really well now granted that's not i'm not comparing it to my challenger for long distance traveling my challenger is the mile crushing queen like that's just what happens but this bike i'm probably going to take it on some long distance adventures because i have it set up for that like i may do a fairing a little quarter fairing or something i don't know yet a half fairing whatever the hell they're called I still got to look into them. I want to find good ones. This bike is new. Like, we still got so much cool stuff to hopefully see. But what I can tell you is how planted this bike is. How well, like, the extra weight is for this bike. And extra weight is not a bad thing when you're going through some crazy wind. I'll tell you that right now. I've been through some wind on the Challenger that if I was on on the Bobber, I... I wouldn't want to walk through that wind, let alone just be like riding a light bike through it. And the Challenger, man, I had that thing dug sideways going through the wind. There's something for everything. Now, I, I'm very fortunate to have built some things up and done some things and worked with people and I have the best of all three worlds right now. I'm working on this one. I hope to bring them to some shows. Like, that's all future stuff. But when it comes down to like which one's better i don't have an answer for you now would i have this bike if i was getting rid of the scout no nope no no and hell no now and that's nothing against this bike i love my scout bobber i don't like this turn <laughs> there's your world famous jerky right there and this person blocking my view. Here we go. All right. So the Scout would stay. What now? And that's just, I love that bike and everything I know about that bike. Now, if I had no details on either one, I had never ridden either one. Just sitting on them. Like, and if I did like a, a couple mile demo then this bike would probably be the better bike for me just because of my size and stature and the way I like to sit and it's well planted if I was going for speed and I had no idea what the bobber was capable of yeah you know this is feels very torquey and this is like yeah so there's a lot of reasons that this could be picked over the scout bobber right from the start but that's not knowing all the variables. Like, I've got 20,000 miles on the Scout. So I know a lot about that bike from stock to tune to intake and tune. Like, just 
there's a lot to that bike. There's lots of that bike and the way it sounds and the way it feels and just what I've done to it. So that, of course, plays a huge part in this. This bike's amazing in its own right. Very torquey, feels very comfortable. Uh, the Thunderstrokes get like pretty good gas mileage. The Scouts can get really good gas mileage, but you got to keep your damn hand off the throttle. And like that just doesn't work for me all the time. So, what you doing there, bud? The fuck is your problem? And you're still on the white line. Ah, hey, what's it like to ride a motorcycle? <laughs> you ever get like cut in line? All day? <laughs> That's what it's like to ride a motorcycle. Oh man, okay. But that's just like, so it's hard like for YouTubers and content creators, whatever you want to call us, to go out and like, which one's better? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, and I, and I had people like, well, you get to just summed it up. You don't know, or you can't tell us or whatever. I'm like, I do. I always try. Well, I mean, I try to say that all the time. I can't tell you what bike's going to fit you. I can talk about their differences. I can talk about if I like the bike or not. I love this motorcycle. I love the challenger. Like, it, what are you doing, you know, with, with your ride? Are you, can you handle the weight of a challenger every time you're at a stop? And I don't think the challenger weighs like, but going from this to that, of course, like, of course it's a huge difference. Like that's just weight. <laughs> and there's no, there's like scientific fact, but the way they have the weight dispersed and handled and everything else, I think that bike is amazing. So, you know, you got eight, 900 pounds on the challenger and I have the trunk and everything on it. So that's just going to make complete sense. This one, you know, it's like 600 pounds. So you're going to notice a difference. And then the Scout's 500 pounds. So all these bikes make a difference. But when you're throwing around the Challenger and the curves, I'm throwing around the Challenger usually harder than I am the Bobber. Like better lean angle and stuff like that. Doesn't matter the weight. I'm in them. Like the same thing I'm going to do with this thing. Well, <laughs> I'm going to throw around all three bikes the way they want to be thrown around. You know, I'm going to make sure that they feel comfortable being thrown around. <laughs> What's their level of pleasure? I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know what it like what do you guys really look for in that are you really looking for someone to tell you what bike is better or are you looking at the details that are going to fit you because that's what it should come down to i've had people like well i want to like go sit on one and feel one and i'm worried about my height and you know if you're over six foot like this bike's probably gonna fit you a hell of a lot better than a scout but then again i know people that are over six foot that ride the scout and they do just fine they like it i'm five seven as you guys know and uh like i'll be doing a deeper review on this bike as much as i can because it'll be custom but i'm five seven i wanted taller bars these are 14 inch bars they feel way better to me i wanted forward controls i don't even have long legs like but they feel better to me than having my like foot right here against the for the mid control but like when I'm riding in, in mid control, like I'm all down, like it doesn't matter. Like I'm not that tall, but I don't want to wear a, ride a sport bike. You know, like it's just not my thing. And it's not because of getting on the bike, it's that position. Like my back don't care for it, you know? <clears throat> I'd rather be sitting like this, arms up, slight bend in my elbow. I'm like, yeah, mm, 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 yeah. This is where I'm comfortable, man. This is my like safe zone. I'm like, yeah, my happy zone. You know, like, I don't know. I think you just got to look what fits you. The same when the Scout Bobber was out, I watched every video on it, and I had sold myself on that bike before I went to the dealer and sat on it. Like, I went and sat on that. I was oh, oh hey, dealer right there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I went and sat on the bike. I went and sat on the bike, and I was like, oh man, this is fantastic. It has like kind of forward controls. It's got, uh, but 
Why can't I think right now? My brain. Oh, it's got not not necessarily drag bars, but it's got the bobber bars, the real low bars. And I rode that bike for a while like that. And that was just, you know, my happy place. I was like, this this feels fantastic, you know? And then I rode it with the mini apes that I put on it, and I was like, hold oh, my back. <laughs> yeah, I could ride long distance. Everything felt a lot better. And like you know what? I never rode long distance without the without mini apes on it because I rode to Laughlin after I put the mini apes on it and I knew that I was going to need them for my back though so that was just part of the deal you know I'd rather sit like this for 300 miles than than sit like this for 300 miles you guys on uh, sport bikes that do 1k's man more power to you because not this guy not this guy I don't know <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling. I haven't done one of these in a little while. And when you see those comments, you're like, bro, I don't know. I can't tell you what bike to ride. Like, I can't tell you who to marry. Like, like I ain't going to do any good at the end of the day. A truck breaks like, well, oh, no. Oh, no. Some puckering. Some puckering. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Stay on our side of the road. All right, let's go, Malibu. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. There's a what is this going on? A little market marketplace thing going. That's cool. Oh, do, 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 do. All this little stuff in like Redlands, Mintone. Like, well, we're in Redlands now. Mintone was up there. But all right, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna stop rambling. Stay safe. Stay classy. And I'll catch you guys later.